Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Joya Royson of BK Royson Publishing, and I'm super duper excited this evening to be on with some incredible ladies this evening. And uh, we are here primarily to invite you to book holiday book fest, not just book fest, but holiday book fest. Uh, whose talk is this? Hey, uh, uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Please share the video. It is uh, public. Please share the video. I'm Julia Royson, representing BK Royson Publishing, Royal Media and Publishing, and the Book Business Bosses. I am here this evening with three wonderful and powerful women, uh, and I don't even have a problem. This is my party. This is my show. I'll say it. Uh, three powerful women of God, and I'm excited about it. But we're here to talk about uh, Holiday Book Fest, which is in uh, Louisville, Kentucky on November 17th in Jefferson Mall. I had a book festival here with these same ladies in attendance back in June. And uh, we had a wonderful time and the mall invited us back. And so from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, in November 17th, in um, Jefferson Mall, right there at the entrance, as soon as you walk out of Dillard's, is the Starbucks. Yay! That's our favorite spot. And then <laughs> we're right next to and across from and adjacent to um, Starbucks. So we are on gathered on tonight to just a little talk, um, just to primarily invite you. Um, I just want to let you know that I am taking this book festival model on the road. Um, we will be in Dallas, Texas in February of 2019 already. I'm in negotiation with other cities to attend as well. So look for um, BK Royston Publishing, Royal Media and Publishing, and the Book Business Bosses book festivals coming to a city and state near you. Um, and so I'm excited about that. And uh, you don't have to be, that's what the Book Business Bosses is. You do not have to be signed to either of my companies to participate. So if you're interested, inbox me. If you know somebody and you would you know of them all or know of an event you'd like for us to come to, please um, tag yourself in the comments and uh, reach out to us. Uh, we bring books for adults and children of, of all ages, children's books as well as adult books. And just by talking about um, children's books, and um, in, in addition to the book festivals, just as an announcement, just like you do in church, the other announcements are uh, mm -hmm. that BK Royston Publishing is now sponsoring and having book fairs. Um, I know you've heard of other book fairs, but BK Royston Publishing in their children's authors are bringing book fairs to schools. So uh, Benji, I know that you're a school, elementary school, uh, librarian. So if you're interested in the book fair coming to um, Seattle, Washington, I'll be happy to do that and um, to come your way and uh, we'll make that happen. Of course, there is a percentage of the profits that goes to the school directly. So it is a win-win, not only just for um, children to learn about um, African-American authors and other authors, because they're just not African-American authors only, but to uh, be introduced to different books, new books. Thank you so much, everyone who's sharing. I appreciate the shares and, uh, and the comments as well. So let's talk about Holiday Book Fest, November 17th at Jefferson Mall from 10 to 5. Uh, you've been there before. Um, so we're going to start out with you, Sakina Bunch. Um, so tell us about you. Tell us about your book and your experience with Book Fest. Well, first of all, I absolutely loved BookFest. I wasn't quite sure what to expect when we first did it, but when we got there, oh my goodness, it was just unreal, the people that came by. And, you know, it, it's funny because I guess, you know, they didn't have a bookstore in that mall. And so people were really hungry to know, you know, hey, what you got going on there? And, and you know me, every time I come, I bring something to eat. <laughs> whether it's something to drink, something to eat. And they were just tearing that up and the books were going left and right. So that was just phenomenal. But the book that I have, it is uh, Wife to Be. I, don't, I want to make sure there's no glare there. So it's, it's Wife to Be. And 
a survivor's guide for the new and not so newlywed. And when people see this book, the first thing they think about, oh, well, that's just the guide for me, you know, in the future being a wife. And no, it's so much more than that. It is the story of my husband and I over the course of the, over the course of almost a quarter of a century. My gosh, I can't even get that out my mouth. <laughs> But that time, you know, and the ups and the downs that we've had, we're a military family. And so there are some, you know, little nuances that maybe civilians don't go through that military people do go through. And it is a journal as well. So, you know, when you're reading this book and you're looking at, hey, you know, my communication with my husband is not this, or, you know, maybe the aphrodisiac department is not what it used to be. You know, all of that is in here, along with a cookbook. Now, <clears throat> I had a few people ask me, well, can I have more recipes? And so I may have that too at the book fair as well. So that's a whoop, 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 whoop. Yes. So that, that is what this, <laughs> this book is about and so much more. That's awesome. Okay, so I need for you to share and I'm going to tag, I'm going to put that in the comments. So you do offer, what's your upcoming event? Besides the holiday book fest, what's oh. your upcoming event? Because I know you coach as well and i do want to let you know jefferson mall of course is on the south end uh, of louisville headed south on 65 so those of you who are in the fort knox e-town uh, area you can easily get to uh the jefferson mall right off 65 so it's not that far but even for those of, that are not going to be in the area you can reach out to sakina her book is available online but she also coaches so go ahead and give us your website and all of that information as well. Okay. Yes, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do group coaching. I'm actually known for my detoxes. I do liver detoxes, sugar detoxes, especially for people who are dealing with diabetes, who are dealing with liver issues. That's my thing. Okay. Uh, but my website is cleangoodeats.com. That's cleangoodeats.com. And you can find me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, all clean good eats. You'll find me there. Okay. It's just cleangoodeats.com, right? Not all clean. Right. Cleangoodeats.com. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she is. Yes. Okay. So it's in the comment section. Hello, Elaine. How you doing? Thank you, Benji, for hanging out with us. I'm sorry. I call, that's my cousin, so I called him Benji, but Benjamin Davis. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> this is Benjamin Davis. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, and thank you so much for the shares and, and participating. I, I really appreciate it. I know it's Friday night, and you could be doing a whole lot of things, although in Seattle, it's like 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's, it's still light where he is, but uh, I really appreciate that. Follow um, um, Sakina online, order online. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. And these ladies have just really, whew, they have just meant uh, a lot to me. All right. So I'm going to stop talking and keep moving. All right. Ms. Brenda Davis, I'm coming to you next. I'm coming to you next. All right. Go ahead and introduce your book and introduce yourself and and just tell us a little bit about your thoughts of, uh, of BookFest. All right. Um, my name is Brenda Richmond Davis. Hello, everyone. Um, I actually loved um, BookFest that we had back in June. And we have the holiday BookFest coming up. So I'm really excited. The energy is wonderful. It's, um, it's just awesome. You just get to meet all these different people and just uh, make new uh, acquaintances and, and create new relationships with people and getting to know people. And uh, it's exciting. And then you're right there by Starbucks too. So I mean, that's the best, right? <laughs> I did that and just so, for you. See? <laughs> right. I like, no, we want a high traffic area. I'm not going to be in the back side of the mall. Starbucks can have right. no more high traffic than that. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> So it's amazing just to, you know, be a, uh, amidst so many people and so many great authors and Miss Julia herself, herself. My, my name is, my book is uh, Take It Off the Mask, and it is a journey of transparency, healing, and freedom to be who God created you to be. And God had me to write this book um, and, and to birth this book 
out of a lot of trauma and emotional pain that I had experienced in my life as a child, as a teenager, a young adult, that I hadn't really had the time to confront, face, and get healed from. So uh, through my process of journaling and allowing God to heal me and being transparent with him about what I was feeling, whether it was popular for a Christian to feel that way or not, <laughs> um, I just remained transparent with God, and he had me to produce and birth this book. And it's for anybody who has experienced any type of trauma, um, especially any kind of domestic violence, and that's for females and males, um, or if you've been through anything as a child that kind of uh, traumatized you and maybe you haven't had the chance to confront the emotions and get healed from the emotions. And I know in the African-American community, a lot of times we don't want to get counseling and things like that. So we tend to be a little stunted and it can affect our purpose in life. It can affect the future and what God wants us to accomplish. So this book, is it, it helps you to walk through the process of, of transparency, getting healed, getting free from your past, so that you can move on and have a great future. I use my story, and I'm a witness that it can be done. It, God is awesome. He's amazing. And I just believe that anybody who reads this book, their life will be changed. I'm looking forward um, to Saturday, November the 17th, 10 to 5, Jefferson Mall, Holiday Book Fest. Um, if you want to look my book up or follow me, I am on Facebook and Instagram at author. Brenda Richmond hyphen Davis. And uh, my book is also on Amazon.com. So it is taken off the mask. And I am just, I'm excited. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so um, do me a favor, uh, Miss Brenda, find the Facebook Live and put your um, uh, link to your book in the comments. Sharon, go ahead and do that after you finish uh, talking or. Um, in a minute so we are primarily here tonight just in just in case you're wondering what's Julia Royston on talking about tonight uh, we're talking about holiday book fest that's coming up November 17th we're about eight days away if you're in the Louisville area or surrounding areas we have authors coming from Indianapolis we have one author coming from Dallas we have an author coming from Nashville and the rest and then Takina doesn't live in Louisville she's uh, on the outskirts of town as well in the E-Town Radcliffe, that Fort Knox area. Um, and, and so they're coming from other places and we're super duper excited about it. And so we're inviting you to come to um, Jefferson Mall on November 17th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. But we're also inviting you in the comments section. You can support these authors, whether you're in Louisville or anywhere around the world. So. Um, so feel free to uh, support them. There are fantastic Christmas gifts um, and, and getting prepared for the holiday. You're right on time to get this and get any of these books from Amazon on the, um, on the, your Christmas list. Think about new different gifts to get, you know, that same old tie and that same old pair of socks and that same scarf and hat and glove set. It, you know, it, it, you try something different. Try something that will help enlighten the mind and the spirit and the soul so that people will do different and be different. So um, I'm really excited about that. Yes, ma'am. Were you raising your hand to say something else? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I was actually having trouble uh, being able to put my information in. Do you okay. mind doing it for me? I will. I will. Just okay. put it in the, um, go ahead and put it in the group and I'll share it. Okay. And I'll take care of that. All right. Thank so you. we're going to move on down to um, Pastor um, Sharon Hunter, which is, oh my gosh, we've been talking about these kinds of things for the longest time. And we've had dreams and visions over fish sandwiches at Old Cunningham's. And, <laughs> and you know, now, you know, the, the scripture says the vision is yet for a point in time. That's but right. if we wait for it, we keep working at it. We can't just think about it and eat fish sandwiches over it. We got to put the work in and the time in and, uh, you know, having that series of children's books and having that set of, of uh, putting those things into action and we can pray. And yes, we should pray about God enlarging our territory, but we got to be ready to walk in when the territory is enlarged and make it happen, make it happen. So I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Sharon Hunter, introduce your books. 
major books. All right. And um and tell us about your experience at Book Fest and invite the people and I'm gonna get the link in the um in the chat. Well, I had an awesome time at Book Fest uh, when I was there. And just like Julia said, you know, this has been a long time coming, but it just goes to show you when you keep doing something and you're adamant about um, what it is that God has told you to do, you will continue to do it. And it really doesn't matter what other people got to say. Um, so I'm grateful to God that um, I have, you know, the thing that God dropped in my spirit is just keep going. You know, being a pastor, it can be frustrating. It can be upsetting because it, it can be a lot of things. It can be filled with joy. It can be filled with wonder. But then you also have your moments when your flesh gets involved. But when God spoke, he said, just keep going. And, and, and it was something that he gave me that covered every aspect of my life. Uh, you know, just keep going. And, and that's my encouragement to anybody out there that whether you're thinking of writing more books or if you want to write the first book, just keep going. It may not look exactly the way that you want it to look, but that's really never important because I've been, you know, I've been learning on this journey. You know, rarely what God wants is what we want. We, we see something altogether different. But if we put our trust in him, you know, and just keep going, it will manifest. So um, I've been writing since the fourth grade. I wrote my first book when I was a, uh, what is it, the, uh, what was it, the, uh, the Young Authors Club is what I was a part of. And I wrote my first book. Julia, I need to do a revamp of that book. I'm going to think about it and get all the details down. But yeah, anyway. we're going to get it done. And, and, um, but that was, and, and I always had a love for it and children, you know, husband came, children came, life happens. So I couldn't, you know, dedicate as much time to it. So the dream was kind of deterred, but not stopped. And I'm grateful to God for that. And so as time went on, children grew up, you know, grandchildren came and God said, it's time to go back to do what it is that, you know, is in your heart to do. So my first book was uh, Sister Girl and the Annoying Sunny Boy. I love this book. And then the second book out of that series is Sister Girl and the Mystery of the Giant Hair. Um, I wrote these books to impact children's lives because I firmly believe that great readers make great leaders. I mean that on everything. I think that if we teach them at a very young age to read, when they get to the big Fortune 500 companies, they'll be able to read the emails in detail, understand the content of what it is that they're reading, and actually get a jump on everybody else because the other folk didn't read it all the way through. I worked at a bank seven years, and they would always say, I, I, didn't, I, don't, I didn't know we could do that. Well, it was in the email. Read it, and you'll get it. So... <laughs> So, you, you know, if you teach them to read early on um, and, and, and make that a part of their life as a parent raising four children, raising other people's children, need, dealing with nieces and nephews, that was a part of my regimen. You need to go get that book, so sit down. I don't care if it's five minutes. I don't care if it's 10 minutes. I don't care. But you're going to go sit down. And, and I know, y'all, I'm just real. There, you know, it had a dual purpose. One, the child needed to read. But secondly, you need to get away from me right now. And I'm going <laughs> and, and to put you in this corner with this book. I already read this book. So I know the questions to ask you. <laughs> I'm clever. So I'll read the chapters that are important. The chapters I'm going to ask you about. So uh, get your children some great books in their hands. Sister Girl and the Annoying Sunny Boy. Sister Girl and the Mystery of the Giant Hair. And I'm also... I like to encourage parents. I like to write books that you can sit the child down and you don't have to worry about them being invaded with questions that you're not ready to deal with or you're not ready to answer. It's just a fun read for the child. And it is strategically written that if you are reading to the child and with the child, um, you know, you'll be able to do that well. And then lastly, um, these two books are for adults. So I'm, I'm excited that whoever comes to the table, you bring, you get a book for your kid, get books for your kids, but you also get a book for yourself. This book is called Suddenly Saved, Single and Parenting. It's just chronicling the things that I learned as being a single parent, raising my kids. And it's an excellent read for anybody that's trying to, you know, really get into uh, being a good parent. There's so many books about waiting for Boaz, but there's not a lot of books about being the parent that God calls you to be when it's just one of you and it might be two, three, four or more of them and you want to raise them in the Lord. And then this last one is my passion right here. Conquering the mountain called me. And the thing that I have found out, you know, is that people love to say that they're Christians, uh, but they're not willing to put in the work 
that it takes to be the Christian. So we're full circle now. Go, just keep going in God. Just keep going in the things that God has called you to do. Learn how to develop as a child of God and learn how to develop as the Christian God has called you to be. And there is no promise or guarantee that it will be easy. As a matter of fact, it can be hard, but you, and, and hard in the sense that your flesh, not God now, because his burdens are easy and light, but it's hard because our flesh gets involved. But this book teaches us how to get beyond that flesh, how to put that work in, it, and, and it gives you opportunity to journal. So it's great for a church group, not male or female, because I like to write across the board so that you can, again, ask yourself those poignant questions. Am I doing what I need to do to be effective as a woman of God or a man of God? And then when you, and then here's the thing, and my last thought, if you find out it's some stuff that you're doing that, you know, maybe is not, ex, you know, expressively showing that you're not developing the way that you should or you did, you stopped going. That is the love of Christ that gives us the opportunity to just start over. It's like the, the quintessential Etch-A-Sketch. Shake that joker up, get that <laughs> over, and just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I love etch a sketch. Woo! Shake that thing up. Woo! Get up. I found some small ones and I used it for a uh, an event not too long ago. But I shook that thing up. So what I need for um, you to do, Pastor Sharon, is go to the um, live view and put in your website. Is it uh, Hunter? I put two in. Okay, um, good. Hunter uh, Enterprises. Put, yes. Uh huh. Okay, good. Good. Make sure that there. The links are in there. And as people continue to share um, them out, your links, uh, the comments and all of that will keep going. Okay, so any questions in the in the group? Fine. Uh, otherwise, please join us November 17th. There are 21 of us, 21 authors that are going to be there. It's We're bringing a bookstore to you. <laughs> yeah. uh, we are bringing, and that's one of the things that the mall is really excited about because they do not, have a bookstore in that mall. I mean, there's a lot of people in the mall, but there's not a bookstore there. So we're basically bringing a mobile pop-up bookstore out. We've done that really honestly several times um, this year. Uh, the June Book Fest, and then we were outside at a open, the African uh, Heritage, Sakina and Ms. Brenda, we were there in the rain, Hulk covering books, we were outside. And then um, there was a, a pop-up bookstore uh, at another uh, business networking event, Mixer, uh, Be Your Own Boss uh, Mixer. So we've done quite a few of these this year. It has just been uh, one of those things that we've taken the books to the people. And so that uh, we have the opportunity. And I'm sure you can buy books online and you can purchase all of these books on Amazon. You can also see on my live, uh, on my timeline, um, the other authors that are going to be there in attendance. So look them up, follow them on social media. Uh, I'm quite sure we're going to have uh, new new books coming out. Um, Dr. Cassandra Bradford is coming all the way from Dallas, Texas. And then uh, Miss C.N. Wilson is coming from Nashville. Courtney Stinnett is from Indianapolis, as long with Erica and, and Lewis Rutherford. So you'll hopefully meet more of those authors. We'll be back on Facebook Live on Monday night. Uh, Monday night, November 12th. So you'll meet um, some other authors. You ladies can always come back and sit in and jump in again. Um, mm -hmm. But we're excited about um, Holiday Book Fest. Get your books in time for uh, uh, Christmas and time for the holiday. We're bringing the bookstore to you. Um, just come to the mall. You can find us right there across from Dillard's. We'll be right next to Starbucks. We'll be right down from the food court. So get your sandwich and then come on down or get your drink from Starbucks and then come on over and purchase books. There'll be specials and deals and um, I'm going to combine some things, put some bowls on stuff and come on over and uh, register to win a uh, Kindle Fire as well. So um, I'm not having a, a workshop this time, although go to bkworstonpublishing.com. I'm always having events. Follow me. Um, I'm always sharing. Uh, my next writing class is coming up on uh, Tuesday night, November 13th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're ready to finally write that book, hit me up and let's make it happen. 
Also, um, I have two stores open, <laughs> bit.ly forward slash BK Royston store. And then I have four children's books for the book fair. That's a store open as well, bit.ly forward slash Royston book fair store. So I am just, ooh, I have been working, Sakina, working, working. <laughs> yes. We have been in the workshop working. Um, yes. I'm excited about all what uh, God is is doing. Um, I pretty much uh, I looked so far. I think we by the end of the year we'll probably publish anywhere. I have various books in stages of production, anywhere from 23 to 25 books in 2018. That's a lot. That's a lot of that's a lot of books to roll out. But I'm thankful for the team that I have and the authors that God has brought in my life and the books and the stories and woo, it's, ex <laughs> it's exciting. It's a ministry. It is my purpose. So if you need my help, you know how to find me. I'm on social media, uh, inbox me, uh, go to my site, uh, get on my calendar, bit.ly forward slash talk with Royston check your calendar then check my calendar and then let's talk about your book or business or whatever you need uh help with and i'm hopefully i'll have a uh, a course a class a book or something on it if not you'll give me an idea to write something else all right yay you all be blessed have a great evening thank you ladies so much for joining me this evening it has been a pleasure and i appreciate always. all that you do yeah it's always a pleasure being with you all as well you all be blessed. Have a fantastic rest of the weekend. More to come. Thank you. More to come. Be blessed. Thank you.